Hey girls, welcome back to Heather Really Hearts. Um, today I'm going to be doing my weekly favorites. I call my weekly wows and girl, don't waste your money. So they're like my hits and misses. So we're just going to get on into it. Um, my first hit is actually, I did a haul, which will be linked below. I did it before this one. It's already up. Um, and some of them are from the haul and some of them are not. But this is my new Milani color statement lipstick in, wrong way Heather, Fruit Punch. I have it on today. I actually tried to wear a lot of my favorites today just so y'all could see them on. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful um, hot pink color, rosy pink. And I just picked up the um, Flamingo Pose, which is even darker than this, or I'm sorry, brighter than this. And it's going to be an upcoming haul and I'm so excited to use it. I have to, I'm having to make myself not use, not try it. But all of the Milani Color Statement lipsticks that I've tried, I like. I also have Nude Cream, which uh, my very first video, an uh, introduction to this channel, which was like six videos ago, I also showed you Nude Cream in that for the perfect pinky nude lip. Love it. Um, the next thing along those lines, and this is not new, it's the um, Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm from Sephora. This is how it looks. And I always apply this before makeup and let it soak in while I'm uh, getting the rest of my makeup on. Wipe it off and then do my lipstick the very last. And it just keeps your lips moisturized and not like cracky and, and looking tore up. So, love this. Um, the next thing I have on my nails today, and this was in the haul that I just... Am I not straight? Girl. This was in the haul that I just did. Um, this is the Timeless Rubies. I'm trying not to get too much of a glare. It's the Cover Girl Outlast um, nail polish. And it's on my nails today. I love it so much. And I've had this on for f like five days with just the Sesh Feet top coat. And I haven't even touched it up, the top coat. And there's barely any tip wear. Wear. Good lasting power girls. This is. I think I got it for $5. I got buy one, buy one, half, get one half off. So it was like six and three or something like that. Um, good stuff. Love it. Okay, the next thing is something kind of new to me. And I heard about it first, I think, on Mel MPHS's page. Um, and I hadn't really heard about it too much from anybody else. But it's the Mario, Mario Badescu. I hope I'm saying that right. Facial spray with all, aloe, herbs, and rose water. It is a... Not a setting spray in the fact that it will keep your makeup on longer, but it's a setting spray in the fact you can do it before your foundation and it's very moisturizing. And then after you've done everything, I spray it like this. It's not coming out. Okay. And let it dry. And right now it's going to look wet. But as it dries, it takes away all the powdery finish. Um, and it's really, really good stuff. Love it. It's very refreshing. Great for summer. Okay, next is a combination, and it's the foundation I have on my face today, and the brush I used. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. I have it in 832 Nude Beige. Mine looks horrible because my makeup is all dirty. I always get makeup hor horribly dirty. And then, love that stuff. Great coverage. I think it's like 8 or $9. Uh, and then the It Cosmetic Flat Top Kabuki, just to brush it all in. It, Co it Cosmetics is sold on QVC. I'm not sure of anywhere else it's sold, but their makeup is great, but their brushes are to die for. Awesome brushes. Um, okay, so that's that. The next is also, I'm going to try to speed this up. The next is also something I got in my haul a couple weeks back that I just put a video up. This is the Stila Smudge Pot and Kitten. I have it on my eyes today with Kitten over it. If you can see that list. There it is. Great base. Great primer. Wonderful. Love it. So happy I got it. Kitten is my favorite, like, lid color of all time. Um, and speaking of kitten, this is the Stila in the Light Palette. Looks like this. Love this whole palette. Kitten is what I put over this base. So let me show you how that looks. See how it just... Oh, gorgeous. So that's on my lid. Um, and this whole eye look is done with, with this. So if y'all want a tutorial, just let me know. But this is by far, it's one of my favorite palettes right now. You know, you have palettes and they become your favorite and then you kind of lose interest. But that one for the last few weeks has actually been uh, my favorite. Um, something new um, is the Milani Shadow Eyes in Almond Cream. It is a dupe for Paint Early Paint Pot. There it is. 
it's a base. You put it on your lid. I have a lot of discoloration on my lids, girls. The older you get, it happens. You put it on and then, um, you know, blend it out. And it stays tacky, so your eyeshadow will stick to it. Love this as a base. Great stuff. Um, another new thing I got, and I don't have the brush handy, but it was in my last haul that I've been using this week and loving, is the Tarte uh, Amazonian Mousse Brow. Brow Mousse. Sorry. In taupe. This is the color. And it comes with a brush. It was $28. I got 20% off of that. But it is just, and it's a, it doesn't look like it would be red base in pot. And it's not all that red base. There it is. But there's a little, the taupey has a little bit of, maybe not red is the right word. Maybe, I have it on my eyebrows today. Maybe it's more blonde base. And for some reason it just melds with my hair. Because I have like golden, maybe it's more golden. I'm not good with colors, as you can tell. But this looks really, I think, natural on me. And I really like it. And I, it is a favorite. And it's great staying power and all of that. Okay. One last favorite for makeup. And this, will all, this has been a favorite for a really long time. It's the Too Faced... Sorry. Uh, Chocolate Soleil bron uh, Bronzer in Medium Deep. It's a matte bronzer. It smells... There it is. It smells like chocolate. It's amazing. I have it in my contour today. Great stuff. Um, love it. Uh, not really much else to say about that. Okay, my last wow is this. It's the Super Sweet Clean Cleanser by Dr. Nicholas Pericone. Love this stuff. I got it off a of Hope Look, and then you can see I'm almost running out. I got it like four months ago, and I have been like trying to use up other cleaners, and I started using it, and... I loved it right away. Love the smell. It's very gentle. It will take off all of my makeup. I can rub it into my eyes. It doesn't burn. Um, it's supposed to be all natural ingredients. But I went online to try to get some more, and then somebody said it was being discontinued. This whole super line by Paracone was being discontinued. So I got really paranoid. And um, I paid like $10 for it. It was regularly $30 on Hope Look because they were having a flash sale. So... I started going on Amazon and stuff and thinking, oh, I want to buy it. And people were trying to charge $30 and $40 for this little bitty four-ounce bottle. I'm like, I'll just try to find something I like better, which leads me to one of my girls don't waste your monies, but that's coming. And then, because I thought, well, it's discontinued. It won't be back on Hot Look. Well, lo and behold, like two weeks ago, it came back on Hot Look. And do you know that I bought 10 of these suckers? I spent $105. They're, they're like $10.50 a piece. But I bought 10 because... I want, that's my yearly, that's my year of cleansing. Like, it's done. It's, I'll keep it, and after it, it never comes back, I don't know what I do. But right now, this is my Holy Girl Cleanser. I love this stuff. I can use it with my Clarisonic. I can use it at night to get my uh, makeup off. It takes everything off, and it's never burned my eyes, which is very important to me. I'm a contact wearer, and I have naturally very just sensitive eyes. Which leads me to my girls, don't waste your money. The first one, I have two. When I didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands back on this, I decided to go try to find a natural cleanser that would take off makeup and be a good cleanser. And this got pretty good reviews. It's the Neutrogena Naturals Finish Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. And it got pretty good reviews. And it was like 10 bucks. And I'm like, sorry, I'm shaking it, the camera. I'm putting my hands on the table. It's not very sturdy. Um, I put this on my face, and my nightly routine is to put the cleanser on my face and rub it into my eyes, and because it's supposed to be gentle and um, removes makeup and gently cleanses away for a refreshingly clean skin. I put this on my eyes, and they started burning like somebody had doused them in gasoline and set them on fire. It was, I could not get it off fast enough. And then I was like, okay, I've got to use it up because I'm, you know, I hate throwing things away. So I'm going to put it in my shower, and I'm just going to use it not on my eyes, but around the rest of my face with my Clarisonic in the morning. It just made my skin feel like it was on fire. So there's something in there that is not all natural that my skin is just not digging. So I'm going to have to either find a friend to give this to that's not sensitive or just, you know, lose the $10 and chunk it out because something in this does not go well with my skin. So that is a girl, don't waste your money. If you have sensitive eyes or skin, do not buy that because it's not going to go well for you. My last girl, don't waste your money, was the Revlon Waterproof Go Grow Luscious Mascara. And I'd heard good things about the formula, and it was great, and it was on sale. I had a coupon. I think I got it for like four bucks. And I was looking for a Revlon mascara because I'm going to do a full face Revlon tutorial. So I'm like, this looks great. I get home, and I open it up. Just tell me if you can tell what's wrong with this. Let me give you a little something to compare it to. Most of you know what a MAC MSF is. I mean, when my skin finish, this just happens to be in soft and gentle. 
look how big that brush is. You know how big one of these is around, right? You can, okay? This brush is almost as big as that. How it covers up your entire eyeball, and I have big eyes. How are you supposed to get in there and get it on your eye? I tried to use it in a tutorial. I had to not even post the tutorial. It was a nightmare. It was everywhere. And it doesn't even really taper down. And you can't, I have skimpy lashes. And I, I mean, it is as big as an MSF lengthwise. It's insane. The formula might be okay, but uh-uh. Do not waste your money on this. I don't care if, it, if they're trying to give it to you for free. All you're going to do is come home and throw it away. So don't waste your money on that. Okay, girls, I'm headed out. I have, My husband took off work today. It's Friday, and we're going to have kind of a little mini staycation. My son is away, and we're going to try to just relax and uh, and rejuvenate before my son starts school in a week. So I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.